Yo guys, what is up? It is Scammers from Menu Dogs coming back at you again with another Discord.py episode. Today, we're finishing off our reaction roles in episode 22.3. Let's get into it. Anyway, today's pretty chill. We're not making any more commands. We're actually making a couple of listeners. The commands.cog.listener. Isn't death on underscore raw underscore reaction underscore add? self and a payload you might be wondering why don't i just use on reaction ad well that relies on cash and i don't want to have to rely on anything so when you use a raw reaction ad it's got enough uh, details for us to work around and it's just quite nice you know you get every single event guaranteed anyway let's go data equals await self dot bot dot config dot find payload dot guild underscore id and then we're gonna go if not <laughs> if not if not payload dot guild underscore id so you know if it's in dm or not data or not data dot get is underscore enabled pretty much what we're doing here we're checking we're in a guild we're checking that guild has a config and we're also checking that that config is enabled Although, let's get into it, and we can go ahead and just return. Next up, we can go ahead and go guild underscore reaction underscore roles is equal to await self dot get current reactions with the payload dot guild underscore id, and then we can go ahead and go if the string for the payload dot emoji is not in the guild underscore reaction roles, we can also return because this isn't an emoji that we should be giving a role for. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's go guild is equal to away self dot bot dot fetch underscore guild payload dot guild underscore id. And then let's just go ahead and let's also get some emoji data. So let's go ahead and go away self.bot.reactionroles.find string payload.emoji get the role based on that so we can go guild.getRole and we'll use our role uh, last little attribute there and then we can just go ahead we can fetch the member based on that so we can go member equals await guild.fetch underscore member and then we can just base it on the payload.user underscore id and then if the role is not in member.roles we can go ahead and add the role await member.add underscore roles role and the reason can be reaction role boom simple as that now i don't think i explained this well enough earlier on in my opinion so the difference between a raw reaction ad or a raw event combined with its regular event is the regular event will only be tripped if it's in your cache. The raw event will be sent no matter what and that's why we don't have guild objects to work with we've only got a few limited IDs. Personally I'd always be working with the raw um, event just because it guarantees you get the event rather than missing out on it. Anyway, let's go ahead, let's finish this off with our raw reaction remove, and it's pretty much the same to be honest with you. So we just go ahead and copy and paste this, but it's on underscore raw underscore reaction underscore remove. And then we can go ahead, we can again find the data, check the data, and then we can just check that it's a valid emoji, as you do here. And then we still need the guild. We still need the emoji data, the role, and the member. But if the role is in the member roles, we can go omit oh, member dot remove underscore roles, and that should be all. Let's go ahead. Let's run the bot. Let's make sure it works. Dive right in there. Let's go ahead. Let's scroll up a little bit. And I currently have the director role and the developer role, so we add it. Nothing's going to happen because I've already got the role. We go ahead, we remove this. I haven't lost a role. That's because I'm missing permissions on the bot. That's not a fault of mine. 
So let's go ahead and, and let's add another role to this that the bot probably has permissions to give or take. Let's go ahead and let's do the MongoDB role. Oopsie. Alright, add and <laughs> let's go book and let's give it the ID. We can scroll up. It's adding those. Sweet. We should have that role now. We take it away. We've lost the role. Look at that. Easy peasy done. So if I go ahead and I click that role again, I should have the role back. I click off again. I lose the role. Pretty simple stuff. If you don't have permissions, like I don't have permissions to give myself this role, you don't have permissions. It's pretty simple, folks. Anyway, that is all for reaction roles. This was a really short episode, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this three-piece series. Anyway, best of luck, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying your Christmas break. And as always, if you need any help, jump in our Discord, jump in the help channel, and ask away. Peace out.